lot of people are freaking out about what's happening in the real estate market today. There's rumors of a crash and buyers are getting scared and pulling out of the market. Well, don't buy the news because today I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on in our local real estate market. Hi, I'm Troy with IGC, sitting here in Melbourne, Florida, and I'm going to share with you exactly what's going on with the real estate market here at the Space Coast. First thing I want to say is if you've been looking at all the hype that's happening with some of the YouTube gurus, some of the news outlets talking about the coming real estate or housing crash that's happening, just don't buy it. Here's how I see it. You've got a macro market and a micro market. Now, the macro market reflects the entire country. And if you look at the entire U.S., yes, we're in a downward trend. But you have to consider the micro market. There's several markets around the U.S. that are going to continue to perform in, even in this downward economic cycle. And I believe our Space Coast is right here as one of them. I base that on the number of jobs, the length of contracts. We're talking high dollar contracts with many of the space race technology type companies where employees have signed three to five year contracts. Those are high paying jobs that aren't going anywhere as the contracts for these satellites and rocket launches have many years yet to be fulfilled. That means we're going to be somewhat protected here in this area and it's really going to help stabilize our real estate market. Now with all the good things that's going on, you do still need to be aware that there are changes in our market. The rising interest rates have had an impact on our market. It's caused an increase in inventory and it's caused a reduction in sales but it's by no means heading toward a crash. Let me share some statistics with you. You see, I always like to look at statistics because they tell us the facts. They tell us what's going on. Now, first we look at inventory because inventory has increased dramatically. In fact, it's more than doubled in the last 60 days. When I look at available homes for sale in our Brevard County Space Coast MLS today, uh, I'm looking at about uh, 2,643 active units, according to the latest re report put out by the Space Coast MLS. Uh, but we show only 1,284 that actually closed. So that means we have just over a two month supply. In fact, 2.06 month supply. Now that is by no means a buyer's market. It is an increase in inventory because over the spring, we had a half a month supply. Now we are at the end of summer, we've got a two month supply. A normal market can be up to six months supply. We still only have a two month supply. That means we're very much in a seller's market. Now, let me tell you what has changed. A year ago, you could throw your house on the market. And if it was say worth 300, you could list it at 320 and get bids at 330, 340, 350. And that was causing our prices to go up. Today, if your house is worth 300 and you put it on the market at 320, you're probably going to get an offer around 280, maybe 300. You're going to end up lowering your price and selling it for what it's actually worth. So the bidding wars have ended. There's more choices that are out there. But in reality, homes are not losing value. They're still selling. They're just not overselling as they have for the last couple of years. Now, I consider this good news, especially since we work with a lot of investors. And the investors we work with are looking to buy their homes to generate income and cash flow. It's very difficult to generate a good stream of income or positive cash flow when you have to be in a bidding war to acquire your investment property. But now that homes are going to be selling at their actual market value and it's a little more predictable, our investors are able to shop, make offers and get properties accepted at rates that actually make sense. So I'm very, very happy to see the bidding wars have ended. Of course, if you're buying a home, that's also good news because it means you have options. You're no longer competing with 50 other people to get one home. You can now look at 10 homes and be able to pick or choose a couple of them and make some offers. It's good to have an increase in inventory. Now, I do believe when our market hits three months worth of inventory, we will start to see some prices continuing flatten out. And we may see some decline if we start to get above three months. But we've still got a long way to go. We've been holding pretty steady at two months uh, now for, 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 for the last month. Last month, we had two months supply. This month, we still have two months supply. So we seem to have really stabilized out. This is wonderful news. Uh, if we look at our solds this, this past month, we're talking August of 2022. 1,284 units sold, as I mentioned earlier. 
That's compared to 1,496 last year. So yes, sales year over year are down by a little over 14%. Uh, but that's still a pretty robust uh, rate to have only two months supply. 2,600 units available, almost 1,300 of them selling. So 2.06 months supply is still a very strong supply. Now let's compare to rental because rental is a leading indicator in what's happening in our market. When you start to see rentals increase and you start to see rentals take longer on the market, you start to see a change in what's about to happen in the sales market. Now I am watching rentals increase again, and I believe this is a leading indicator to where our sales market's gonna go. And it's a further indicator to our continued flattening of our real estate market. Notice I'm saying flattening, not crashing. Believe me, I would love to see a crash. I would love prices to fall through the floor so that we can buy them dirt cheap again. And yes, I'm one of the few real estate people who's gonna say that because I know that housing values might fall, but the population still lives here and they still need to pay rent for a home. So I would love to see a crash, but I just don't see a crash happening here. I see it flattening and a flattening for a normal market is good. Now with rents, when I have to look at what's available for rents, I take a look at Zillow and Zillow available units is up to 726. That's the highest I've seen in a few years. 726 available units in Brevard County but we still consistently rent about 350. Now, if you've been watching our market updates, you notice that every time I talk about rents, I talk about how many units have rented in the last 30 days, and it's been consistently about 350 units a month. That's a very consistent number that's happened pretty much all of 2022 that we've been tracking the statistic. But the number of available rentals is, is increasing. Now, what this means is we can't get aggressive with our rental pricing anymore. We have to be very reasonable when we put it out of the market so we can capture activity right away. Uh, so we're not gonna shoot high in the sky for blue sky rents, uh, but it also means if we don't price it right, we could be longer on the market. So we've gotta be a little more cautious when we're pricing our rentals. Now, the good news is if our housing market does start a downturn, more people will rent than will buy, which means it's still a great time to buy investment property, especially with this increase in inventory. You can now buy investment property and be able to make offers that make sense and not worry about getting overbid. Some of our investors are actually getting significantly accepted offers below asking price at rates that make sense with almost the 1% rents to purchase price ratio. It's exactly what you want as an investor. And this is exactly the opportunity this market is handing us. So don't freak out about the news. See the opportunity that we have ahead of us to be able to build a cash flow portfolio in today's changing real estate market. And just a couple of last closing tips, never overpay for an investment property and never get emotionally involved with that investment property because that will cause you to lose money every time. I'm Troy with IGC Realty and Rental Management, a real estate investment firm located here in Melbourne, Florida. If you'd like to talk about building a personal plan that can help you to build market-proof retirement income that'll weather any kind of economy, then please give us a call or stop by our office. We'd love to sit down with you and help you build a custom plan to build your cash flow portfolio.